What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the chaos. My name is Lad Tech, and today we're going to be looking at some more memes. This time, we're probably going to get a little bit offended. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure if I'm going to get offended or if somebody out there is going to get offended because these memes are a little bit, um, well, not 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 very, but just you know, touch controversial. Why? Because today we're going to be looking at atheist memes. Well, particularly atheist and science memes, but atheist memes. It's okay because next week we're taking a look at Christian memes or whenever I put this, the next video out, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make a channel for this on my Discord, but hey, if you guys want me to, go over to Discord and let me know, or comment. I don't care, do one of those two. Let your opinion be heard, but for now, on to the memes. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, so it, the caption for this says the Quran didn't predict this. Call me crazy, but um, I don't like it. Also, there's a whole thing happening in the Middle East right now about the uh, hijab thing. So yeah, there's a, uh, there are so many reasons to not like this. Pastor quits church to become a stripper and she says she's never been happier. We will be watching your career with great interest. Oh, I bet we will. What is her name, by the way? I'm asking for his friend, I swear, guys. I just, just <laughs> Well, at least if you throw money at a stripper as opposed to a pastor, you get what you paid for. This would have been way funnier if she became a uh, hooker instead of a stripper because at least that way, when she screams, oh God, at least somebody's getting something for their money. I just got kicked out of a Flat Earth Facebook group because I asked if the six foot social distancing guideline had pushed anyone over the edge yet. This makes sense because the Bible says multiple times that the Earth is a flat disc. Yeah, remember, if you take the Bible literally, you have to be a flat earther. It's not premarital sex if you never get married. <laughs> oh my God, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why people who never get married have such great lives because they never have premarital sex. Didn't think about that one, did you, Jesus? Mary, I'm pregnant. Joseph, but we didn't. It was the Holy Spirit. Joseph, <laughs> yeah, no shit. I would be saying the exact same thing. That is a bullshit story. Human person to Genesis isn't a thing. How the fuck did you get pregnant, Mary? Huh? How did you get pregnant, Mary? Was it, was it Steve down the street? Answer me, Mary. Philosophy students, is the glass half empty or half full? Science students, half of the glass is full of water while the other half is full of air. Philosophy students, we don't do that here. Oh, what? You don't use your brain? You don't use logic? Science? Yeah, there's a reason why people try to ar argue for God from a philosophy standpoint. Because they have no science to speak of. Every, this is the whole reason why every logical fallacy has been used as an argument for God. It's because every argument for God is a logical fallacy. You have to fuck up your thinking somehow in order to believe it. I don't have enough information to form an educated opinion is also the an answer. True. Actually, that's a reason why a good portion of people are atheists. In fact, a decent portion of agnostics are also atheists because they just don't believe they have enough information to decide whether or not a god exists. But that also means that they don't believe in a god, which makes them atheists. I was today years old when I found out thou shalt not use the Lord's name in vain, is meant for people who use religion to justify malicious deeds and not just swear, swearing, oh my god. Like I learned when I was a kid. Yeah, you would think that, but no, it means to use his name in a vain context. Not to use your religion for malicious deeds because that's pretty much the only reason why it still exists today is for malicious purposes. Hell, it's a book that condoned slavery. What the shit am I watching? This is, what the fuck? This is literally called pole dancing for Jesus. Um, I, I don't, what? Well, I guess they need to make church services interesting somehow. I mean, not that I don't appreciate the art, but there's just something wrong about what I am seeing. I think it's the part that there are children literally right next to the freaking stage. Can we go to heaven with tattoos? People with tattoos will not go to heaven. People who drink alcohol will not go to heaven. People who eat too much pork will also not go to heaven. People, short people will not, <laughs> what? Why specifically short people? Also in biblical times, weren't people like an average of like five, two or something like that? Good God, this is a great reason to not be religious anymore. If you ever needed one, here's, here's a whole list. Look at all this shit you gotta get up, give up just to be in God's presence and kiss his ass till the end of time. This, this is all you ever need in life. You are stardust and don't matter. 
you shouldn't kill people because they do matter. I've had so many people try to take the moral high ground with me, and it just doesn't work. <laughs> Without God, we'd all be immoral. So let's, you can't even get people to like, metaphorically, you can't even get people to imagine that God doesn't exist to actually give them a metaphorical idea to prove that they're full of shit. Yeah, you know, it's really disturbing when somebody says, well, without God, I would just be out raping and killing everyone. Cause that says more about them than it does God. God makes dinosaurs. Dinosaurs can't build church. God, boom. This is gonna piss off so many creationists. Science fact of the day, birds are dinosaurs. Can we drop the single-minded bullshit? You can be against a cop killing someone unjustly and also speak out against people burning down businesses over it. It's not a one or the other kind of thing. Both are wrong, and both should be recognized as wrong. I tried so freaking hard to get my own mother to figure this out. By the way, hi, Mom. She was specifically talking about the uh, rioters for um, Black Lives Matter and the protesters. And um, we were trying to talk about that, and I was trying to get her to realize, like, well, I don't condone what they did, but here's the... But the thing is, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing if it weren't for uh, civil distress, which is caused by an unjust, by cop killings. Not only could I not get her to see my point of view on it, but there was also the whole bit of, we just, the Capitol riots happened not that long ago, and I didn't hear a fucking peep out of her. Me and my mom, we don't really see eye to eye on politics. You know, this makes a lot of sense. Pretty much everything here. I do not agree with her saying masks off for Jesus because you're fucking stupid, but it says no Christian should be living in fear, only fear God. Like she totally missed the fucking point of this. This is writing back to a Penn Jillette argument where Penn Jillette was on stage going, if you really believed in God and you were in the middle of the war zone, why not just run out in the middle of the war zone firing wildly at the enemy? Because if God really exists and you were really doing God's work, wouldn't God just make the bullets go around you? That's the argument he's stating, that this guy is basically uh, reinstating here, is that why are you afraid of catching COVID when God's going to protect you? The reason why you should wear masks is because there is no God. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but this brings me great joy. <laughs> this must be horrifying for the little kid over there. I believe this is a baptism, a Catholic baptism of all things, because that's the baptismal font right there. It's just priceless. Uh, oh my God. The things people go through to appease their imaginary friend. My Bible teacher asked the class why biblical characters had a conversation with a donkey. And my sister, and my little sister answered with Shrek. Oh my God. This is just priceless. That is... <clears throat> that is just great. But yes, talking animals are kind of a theme in the Bible, which should really be your first clue that it's just a fairy tale. Jesus not answering your coronavirus prayers? Why not try praying to Sekhmet, Egyptian goddess of healing? What have you got to lose? <laughs> Literally nothing. They're both imaginary. Oh dear God, somebody actually put, I love her, I want to pet her. I, I have so many questions for this guy. First off, fucking why? <laughs> Hey, look, there it is again. Here's the fucked up thing. That child is probably going to have PTSD whenever it gets around guns because of this shit. And these people are just over here smiling and laughing about it. And that concludes today's atheists memes. I, I don't know what this devolved into, but let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments section below. But don't get your hopes up on me answering those comments because I've got one already pre-recorded and ready to go. But if you guys want me to make a special meme channel for this over on the Discord server, you should probably pop over there and let me know Firsthand. And while you're in the description, you should check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel, or you should check out my Twitch if you want to meet up with me every Friday for, you know, a live stream. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to show me some love down below, but hit the like button. And don't forget to check out the annotations for more videos. Now we'll see you in the next video.